Safi next for another conceptual video on fraction. Fraction, a dilemma. In this very short video, I'm going to talk about a dilemma regarding wearing out of cylinder of a car piston at the returning position and a stroke where the speed is practically zero. This definitely contradicts the common perception based on the theory of friction forces. But before coming to the explanation, let us have a look at the functioning of the piston of a car engine, which is visualized in the video. The whole structure consists of five different parts. The case or the cylinder, also known the combustion chamber, the piston, the igniting plug, the intake valve, and the exhaust valve. A complete cycle of the piston consists of four strokes. In the first downward stroke, the intake valve opens and a mixture of air and fuel fills the combustion chamber. Right at the lower turning point of the piston, the intake valve closes and the piston compresses the mixture by moving upward. This is called compression stroke. Right at the upper turning point, the igniting plug sparks causing an explosion in the mixture which forces the piston in the downward direction. This is called the power stroke. Again, at the lowest turning point, the exhaust wall opens and the upward motion of the piston forces the ignited air out of the combustion chamber. This is called the exhaust stroke. Now, if you ever have a chance to inspect the combustion chamber of an old car or motorcycle in a mechanic shop, you will notice that the combustion chamber wall moves at the turning points A and B, where the piston actually stops. This seems to contradict the common sense, which would imply that the wear would be most pronounced where the piston velocity is at its maximum. Because the force of liquid friction is directly proportional to velocity or its square at high speeds. The explanation of this point is the focus of this video. In fact, the movement of a piston inside the cylinder is lubricated with mobile always residing at the bottom side of the piston. At the turning points, the lubricating oil is squeezed out from the space between the piston and cylinder walls in, and in the moment after this event, the piston runs along dry surface until it comes in contact with the lubricating surface again. It is this dryness of the piston at the turning points that causes most wear at this position than in the middle of its motion. 